Hello ladies and gentlemen welcome to Triple N Media I am Dr Nick Nickam In this presentation we are going to talk about uh, FDA recalling 87709 Medtronic pacemakers for mal function Those of you who have received this Medtronic pacemaker may already know that uh, this defect exists in the pacemakers uh, that were put in and uh, you might have already been instructed as what to do for those who lost the mail because of change of address or you change your doctors and you lost track of uh, what kind of pacemaker you had we're going to fill in on all that information so that you will be up to date as far as your pacemakers are concerned the metronic pacemakers that have been recalled are of the cobalt xt icd cobalt dr icd and chrome heart failure quad so these are the three types of pacemakers these are the three types of pacemakers that have been recalled that were implanted between february 3rd to present which is august 22 at the time of this recording what's the reason they recalled this pacemaker simply this pacemakers had short circuit protection alerts basically the purpose of the icd or the intracardiac defibrillator is to shock the heart whenever there is an irregular rapid heart rhythm and when it recognizes the irregular heart rhythm it delivers a certain strength of electricity to the heart to revert the rhythm back to normal but in this case uh, the amount of energy that was delivered was reduced compared to what was set in the pacemaker and that was the mal function that was detected and that's the reason for the recall of 87000 plus uh, metronic pacemakers ironically this is class 1 recall which means the most serious classification of recall of pacemaker and it was based on 27 patient complaints but let me reemphasize no deaths or injuries have been reported due to this small function again let me emphasize no deaths or injuries have been reported due to the small function of these pacemakers if you had received this pacemaker you should have received a letter if not you check with your cardiologist and see what kind of pacemaker you have metronic also emphasize nothing needs to be done if you had no symptoms or if you didn't have any problems with your pacemaker to start with if you are concerned about it your doctors can check your pacemaker in the clinic and reprogram the pacemaker so that it would deliver the right amount of energy to convert a rapid heart rhythm into a regular heart rhythm metronic also reassured these pacemaker recipients that the sensing part of the pacemaker the pacing part of the pacemaker and the detection of irregular heart rhythms were all intact they were normally functioning so the only part that was not functioning properly was delivering the right amount or the energy strength to convert the rapid heart rhythm into a regular heart rhythm and an update on this particular topic Metronic has already reprogrammed its software so all the new pacemakers that are going to be implanted from this time onward will be having this new updated software which will correctly detect not only the arrhythmia but also deliver the right amount of energy to shock the heart to convert the rhythm into normal This is not the first time FD has recalled pacemakers in March 2021 FDA recalled more than 60,000 Abbott pacemakers because of electrical short. Most of these things can be reprogrammed using the external program devices that are all supplied by every manufacturer of pacemakers. So ladies and gentlemen in conclusion even though it sounds alarming that FDA has a class 1 recall of 87709 metronic pacemakers the good news is that there have been no deaths reported and there have been no injuries reported this is a software problem which can be reprogrammed in the clinics by the metronic representatives 
check with your cardiologist and see if he had any one of these models implanted in you. If so, you know, you discuss with your cardiologist and see what needs to be done. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this presentation. This is an update on uh, FDA's Medtronic uh, pacemaker recalls. I am Dr. Nick Nickham and I will see you in the next presentation. Thank you.